problem with Colt Moo. On today's episode, we have three different beers, and they are collaboration, not litigation, mm. by Avery. Stone Stochasticity Project Ooh. Hibiscusicity. Are they the ones that did the Pluot beer? What? <laughs> and we also have Southern Tier Plum Noir. Let's start with the uh, collaboration, not litigation ale. 8.9% ABV. Even coming in at 8.9%, this is still pretty low for an Avery. It's very low for Avery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So here it is. The one Avery's beer is that isn't weapons grade enough to pack into the head of a missile. <laughs> yeah, that's why they had to combine two of them. They're like, Cheers. Cheers. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not bad at all. It's not... Uh, you know what? It's got a nice hoppiness. It is definitely not... Like, I hate sweet beer. This is totally not too sweet. It's very smooth. I'm liking it a lot, especially for the amount of uh, alcohol it's, that's it, in it. It, it. It's headed towards a double ale. Like, if you've ever had something described as a double ale, it, it's the same uh, idea of a double IPA, mm. just stronger, but it's like an ale, just stronger. So it has a little bit, just a little bit more sweet, but also a little bit more of that alcohol yeah. going on. Give but it's a... definitely not too sweet. No. Like most double ales are a little too sweet to me. This one is not too sweet. It, it's just got present flavor. It's got a nice, nice flavor. And, and it finishes clean. It finishes very clean and doesn't leave anything lingering on the tongue. Oh. I still don't quite care for it. It's a little too sweet for me. Like I get that alcohol sweet. But uh, it does finish off quite well. And out of all the Avery's, this is by far the best one that I've had. Just because it is on the lower scale, as far as the alcohol. It's good. I'm actually, I think I'll give that one a six. Uh, yeah, I mean, out of double ales I've had, uh, even though they don't describe it as such, I would put it in that camp. Uh, it's one of the best. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. I was just gonna say, that No, you is, weren't. I was, I totally was. I tried to breathe it in. <laughs> There's no oxygen in this one. <laughs> Next up, we have Felicity from Statisticity uh, Hibiscity Scatisticity mm. Project. We have Carrie Russell. Seven point four percent ABV. Mm. <laughs> wow! Look at the wow. color. <coughs> I think that's what he was actually talking about while you and I were just not paying attention. Oh. Right? Quit pulling each other's penises. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention to the beer. And it feels so good. Wow, this smells good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it aroma. smells exactly like hibiscus. I'm, I'm. I think it smells. No, I'm not. I'm not detecting hibiscus Grainy. straight up the smell, but it does smell like it's uh, light and refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. I get. Yeah. More than a bed. I'm getting more aroma from does. the stupid plastic glass than I am the actual beer. <laughs> Ooh, it comes through on the flavor Ooh. though. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Whoa. It's almost like a sour a little bit. At oh, first, so yeah, but, but it's a full citrusy flavor. Ooh, a lot of citrus. Yeah, it's more of a citrus sour than like the a sour beer sour. Which yeah, because like, they get like almost like the kind cherry. of a fermented sour, with just a little bit of that flowery finish. Yeah, it's very mm. not very floral, but just just enough at the end, just a little bit of floral. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Nice and hoppy right up until Ooh, the end. Ooh, yeah. God damn. Yeah, right? <laughs> a little bit more, just a little bit more. I need another taste. I'm not sure. Man, I don't I don't know why this is out right now. Like this to me feels like a great summer sort of drink. Exactly. I don't, this is what you have on the porch. This is not fall. This is not fall beer. The hint of lemon? Yeah. What do you think lemon would do in this? This would be amazing with yeah, this. Yeah, a little lemon, lemon wedge throwing in there. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is fucking pretty good. You guys should probably leave. Stop it! <laughs> If I can't read no. the beer, why would I want to try it? However, you're delicious. Uh, 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 fuck it, I'm giving this beer an 8. I would I'm say an 8 as eight. well. Eight? Yeah, an yeah. 8 is, is really it's, good for It's that. a surprisingly uh, very tasty beer. Yeah. It's coming out of nowhere. You don't expect that no. flavor coming at you. But it's there, and hibiscus is delicious. Our final beer, mm. Plum Noah. It comes in at 8% A. BV. Ah, mother. F An imperial porter brewed with Italian Ooh. plums. It's a caramel malt with I'm, plums. I'm huh? very interested in this beer. Southern Tier makes super flavorful beers. They, yeah. 
I can't remember any of them by name, but I know I've had some of them and I have enjoyed a couple and I've hated a couple. Ooh. Oh my. It smells pretty good. It, it actually kind of <laughs> smells like the meatloaf. <laughs> Oh my. I'm very rich. It's rich, yeah, but. That is. It's not too I, rich. I wish it had more plum. I'm not getting any plum out of that. You're right, I don't taste plum at all. Uh, Let's make sure it's supposed to have plum. It does kind of taste like prune juice at the end. Really? I am definitely not getting a lot of plum happening here. Plums, to me, are very sweet. They almost have a grape sort of thing happening. Uh, this is just sort of stouty. It's very stouty. Uh, for a porter especially. Um, I disagree. I can't identify plum in that at all. I can taste the plum in it. It does remind me of, like, what the prune juice tastes like. But it's not a bad flavor. Like, I... This is a good beer. It's it, just a Like, very... the, the fact that it's 8%. I think that the prune juice flavor that I normally would not like is actually what is saving it because it's kind of cutting down on that sweetness, which is really yeah, strange maybe. saying because like, like you were saying, like you enjoy the sweetness. It of does plums. have a very good uh, sweet to bitter ratio. Like yeah, that, that that balances very well. Exactly. In, in this beer, and um, it's got a nice like I'm getting more of the normal chocolatey coffee mm -hmm. notes you get from a porter. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, none of the plum and the noir. Okay, it's very noir. I'll give it that. It's got that dark thing going on. Very it's gritty. Moody dark. and evocative. It's very moody and evocative. Dark it's and like a gritty. Truck mash. That's how dark it is. <laughs> However, Racist. not a lot of plum. Still pleasant to drink. Not a drinking beer. Yeah. But a good meal beer, a good, like, tasting beer. I'll give it a seven. I I was gonna give it a, a, a six and a half. Like it's it's not flavor that I necessarily go for, but like I do enjoy it. So yeah, it's six and a half. I'm gonna go with uh, kind of a six on this one. Um, it's uh, it's very flavorful, very rich. It does taste like coffee and a little bit of chocolate. Um, I don't taste any plum at all, and. Um, as far as a lot of their dark beers goes, you know, the flavors are a little bit assumed, uh, but uh, it's still pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, I would probably get it again, you know, if it made the rotation at my local 7-Eleven. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I have to say, out of Southern Tier beers, though, uh, kind of light in the flavor described, because they make a creme brulee beer... Oh! That tastes exactly like Prem Blue Ale. All right. Oh, now I remember the Southern they Tier. They have a pumpkin beer that is intense pumpkin. I know I've had Southern Tier before now. Okay. <laughs> but like this, with the name like Plum Noir, I am really expecting some plum punch in there. And I'm just not uh. getting it. However, it is very, still a very nice porter. Not a bad selection of beer. I have to say, the, 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 the unpronounceable beer... With the hibiscus, with the hibiscusity, <laughs> is probably the winner. This has been Grubbin' with Colbert. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Filming this entire time?